Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Uh, welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I'm going to be going through a thrift store talking about different things that I should pick up or that you should pick up. And if there's something there that maybe isn't the brand that would be ideal, we'll talk about what kind of brands uh, would be better to be looking for. I tried this stream a little bit ago. I am going live, so I'm going to check to see how clear it is because I've been having issues with my internet being kind of grainy. So my apologies. I'm looking over here. It looks like it's so, so it's not amazing, but we're going to go ahead and try and see if we can get this going anyway. So apologies if you popped on a minute ago and I was getting the stream set up and canceled it out, but I'm going to go ahead and plow through and try and see uh, what we can do with it today. All right. So the way I'm going to configure this is that I am going to screen share. Let's see. So I'll be screen sharing me going through the thrift store so we can talk about the kinds of things that maybe I should have picked up or what I passed over. I wanted to do this live today, one, because I wanted to be able to talk to you about the things that I picked up or maybe in the chat, you could say, oh my gosh, you missed this thing. Cause I like to hear that too, because that's how I learn. And also, so I can stop and talk through my process of how I'm looking things up, why I decide on what I decided on. And if it was a brand, like let's say coasters or napkin rings or something like that, that I end up picking up, that isn't a hit. We can look at the kinds of things that maybe would be better to pick up or be looking for so that we can always be uh, expanding our our knowledge of what to be looking for when we're out thrifting, garage selling and stuff. Okay. So if you're, you're here live, say hey in the chat if you're watching later. Thanks so much for being here. And let's dive in. So this first thrift store that I'm going through is out in West Texas. Um, it's one of those with like pet, where they have the pet adoption. So it's, um, I can't remember what it's called exactly. But they have lots and lots of stuff. And most of the time, the things there are pretty reasonably priced. Sometimes they're a little bit more than I would want to pay, but you can always find gems in there. And as you see here, I look at this, the top is broken off the little finial, but I do stop and take a look at this fairy light. It's this bisque fairy light that, um, yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's see how much it is real quick. So it was six bucks. Good morning, fat burn finds. Thanks for being here. I, I know you were you were popped up in the other uh, stream as well. So we're going to try and see if we can get this going. So let's take a peek. I'm going to come over here to eBay. And so what I do when I look up an item, say such as this fairy light, um, I'll just usually either I'll do a Google search or if I'm in a pinch, I'll just run to eBay real quick, type it in. And I'll see what kind of solds there are and also see what's up and available. So this is one that's up for sale, classic style to uh, bisque fairy lamp. Okay, so this one is up for sale for $19, which cool, right? So another thing that I like to do when I'm looking uh, for this is I'll do a uh, fairy lamp and just see what else is up there and what other things are selling. So I like to do this. Let me switch my view to gallery view so we can see more in, in the picture. Uh, I like to do this because this gives me an idea of, of other things that I should be looking for. Like, okay, maybe this fairy lamp was a miss, but what other fairy lamps could I be looking for? And if you're not sure what a fairy lamp is, well, here we go. Let's find out. So it's like a little, it's got a lid that goes over it and you put a candle in it or something like that. And then when the light, you know, when you have the candle going, it makes different shapes or maybe the colors, patterns and things like that. All right, so these are ones that are up for sale. So what I'm coming is I'm looking on the side over here and I'm gonna scroll all the way down to sold because I wanna see what's sold. And I don't always go off of this when I'm pricing, but I do like to see what's sold and what's kind of a hot commodity. Aha, so look, here we've got some carnival glass. That one sold for 139. Let me make it bigger so you can see. With the fish, right? And here's another one, a Fenton one with the fish that sold for 140. Let's scroll down and see some more. Uh, so maybe like this one that looks like a little lamp maybe isn't the best choice. I mean, depends on how much you get it for though, right? Let's see over here. And this one that's just kind of like, it looks like a cut glass. That one maybe, I don't know if it's the color on that one that, that made it not as desirable or if it was just the style of it. So yeah, this is a good way to come through and see, you know, what kind of things are selling 
Here's this one that's custard green. It's kind of got that matte, um, but opalescent sort of like, not opalescent. What's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word I'm looking for. So here's another one. Okay, so you remember the one I just said a second ago? Maybe it's that cut glass, that style. Well, this one to me looks very similar to that, but this one, uh, maybe it's because it has the pineapple. Maybe it's the vintage. I'm not sure. Um, oh, satin. That's what it is. The finish on that. Okay, so this is what I would do. Just go through and see. Now, the one that, that I was saying, so here's another one that I would think, oh, you know, that, that kind of goes in the same vein as the other cut glass one, but this one's blue. So is it the color that makes it more valuable? Or maybe, you know, this is another reason why I kind of hesitate on going off of eBay sold is that maybe that one could have sold for more, but just that particular seller uh, chooses to just, you know, have turnover and wants to just move uh, inventory. So that's another thing to consider as well when you're looking at at uh, different things, especially using sold on eBay, because you just don't know what the seller, what their business model is, right? Some people uh, don't mind holding on to things to get the higher price. Some people, their business model is they just want to have a higher turnover. Um, okay. I'm looking in the chat. Let's see. Thank you so much for being here live. And if you are uh, seeing anything fuzzy, just please let me know because I'm, I'm trying to keep an eye on it to the side. It looks okay. It kind of comes in and out. They came out and, and messed with my internet. Okay, so let's go back to the thrift store, shall we? And see what else I find. So we looked at fairy lamps. I like looking at stuff like this, but this I think was like just a handmade type one. I mean, not that handmade isn't good, but just kind of like arts and crafts. But some, this one looks like maybe a, what do you think? A toothpick, toothpick holder, maybe demi toss spoon holder, or possibly because of the ridge, there might be a lid missing from that. My grandmother had something like that. She put little, little kind of demi toss spoons in that she used. Uh, let's see. Let me know if you see anything else here. Oh, there's a kitty. Hello, kitty. Um, yeah, this was a place where you could adopt, you know, animals. I think it was just for cats though. Uh, let's see what else we see. Okay. Okay. Oh, let me pause in the chat. Oops. I accidentally hit the wrong thing. Here we go. Joanne says, hang on. I'm trying to get that to go away. Let me come make myself bigger. Boop. Joanne says, if you truly know the maker, it makes a huge difference. Fenton versus Tiffin versus no brand equals money. Ah, yes. Good point. Good point. Thank you for that. Definitely. And you know, that's something not everything is marked. So familiarizing yourself or if you find something cool, you know, find a glass identification group on Facebook that you can drop a, an image of that into. Some of them, the glass, um, like there's a pattern on the bottom and the, the that particular pattern is the, is the name of the glass or is like, if you can think of a better way to explain that, <laughs> let me know. Um, yeah. Okay. So what do you think about that net bowl? Was that, was that something that maybe was a, something I should have, not a, it's not a net bowl exactly, but it's one of those, um, you know, where you put the nuts, there it is. And you see the little picks poking out of it. Do you sell stuff like that? I've had wooden ones before. They didn't really do that great, but that one looked more interesting. I just saw a weird looking little pig. I passed up too. Anything weird. I like <laughs> interesting animals, weird. So these were cool, but I really didn't want to pay 22 bucks for them. And I looked them up and, you know, they could have sold, but I don't know that I would have made that that much money. And let's see what else we see here. I'm not, nothing's jumping out at me just yet. Corning, where is this Corning right here? Uh, let's see. If you see something, let me know. I know some people do really well with replacement like carafes which I did see like over there, like replacement coffee part or in teapot pieces, tea maker, I should say. Lots of Halloween stuff. I kind of wish I picked up that glass turkey now because I, I couldn't keep, hang on, let me pause this. I, I don't know what it was, but this year uh, at garage sales, I picked up a number of uh, turkey decorations and they were just so cheap at this garage sale. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get those every single one of them sold pretty quickly. And so now I'm like, oh, maybe I should have picked up that little glass turkey um, candle holder, but live and learn, right? At this point, I don't think I had sold them yet, but now I would pick them up. Yes, I would. 
So coming over here, I do end up seeing, in just a second, napkin rings, which I'm going to pause on. And I kind of wish I picked these up. I did not get them. They're just like, to me, I'm like, oh, you know, they're just kind of like uh, simple brass napkin rings. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized, well, you know what? Some people don't want the napkin rings to be the, the center stage. And they just want something. Or if they have like more of a mid-century modern style and it's more simple, then that might be what they want. So let's go take a look. Yes, napkin rings. I know I've talked about napkin rings before, but I love picking up things that are, a lot of people overlook them. And usually you can find them pretty cheap at garage sales and thrift stores because it's not something that a lot of people necessarily think about when they think about high profit items. Uh, so yeah, it's something I always like looking at. So let's make this bigger. So one of the brands that I did look up for napkin rings, uh, these are Pottery Barn. Pretty much if I find something with Pottery Barn, I'm going to look it up because they've got a pretty big, it's like Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel. They've got a pretty big um, consumer base that really likes that style. And so these are antler napkin rings and these sold for $119. And when I also, when I do this, I like to go through and make sure it's not a fluke. Like if I just see one sold for that price, then it's not something I'm like, oh, yeah, for sure going to look for that. But when I see, especially they're sold after sold after sold of the same item for that, that high price, then that's definitely something that I want to keep my eye out for. So here's another one sold for 116 of those. And now this is a brand I, I don't think I've heard of. I feel like maybe... Maybe I've heard of it, but I've never really dove deep into it. And it's called Mackenzie's Child. So I'm sure somebody in the chat's going to be like, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, we know this one. And I need to see what else Mackenzie's Child does because, I mean, this is another, you know, if you see, let's say Pottery Barn napkin rings sell well, well, maybe then you start thinking, well, what else do they make that, that might sell well? So that's kind of my thought process with Mackenzie's Child is I need to go find out what else they make so that I can be looking for them. Because honestly, these I might have picked up because they're just really colorful and interesting. But there are some that I'm like, I don't know that I would have picked these up. So beaded candy cane napkin rings. These sold for $105. And the like these, I can honestly say I, I don't know that I would have picked up these. Mackenzie's Child Golden Hour Napkin Ring Set. They just look gaudy to me. And I wouldn't have thought that that they would have been. <laughs> because I'm, I just wasn't familiar like if you saw these would I mean um, congratulations to the seller for sure um if you saw them would you be like oh yeah those are that's that's gonna be <laughs> I, I wouldn't have thought that live and learn right so these sold for 115 now I'm noticing on the back these black and white I'm wondering if that is uh something to keep an eye out for do these have no not those these look okay see how they have the black and white on the napkin ring on the back side and these have the black and white I'm wondering if that's like the tell for them, the black and white. Let's find out. So here we've got these. Again, these are the Mackenzie's Child. These sold. These are Butterfly. Again, not sure I would have picked them up if I saw them. Let's see if they've got the black and white on the, oh, look, that the box has the black and white. So I think I have a feeling that's going to be what the tell is. So if you're out looking for them, you're like, how am I supposed to know if it's Mackenzie's Child or not? Well, I think. That's probably what it's going to be, that black and white on the ring, napkin ring part. Cool. Okay. Let me peek in the chat real quick before we dive into more of the, the video. Pause you. Um, okay. Most famous for whimsical painted ceramics and even furniture, wild patterns, dots, and plaids. McKinsey's Child. Ah, sweet. Okay. High end. You were just about to say they're high end. Oh, nice. Yes. Um, hello. Hello. Anything unique, Gaudi, you pick up is... Oh, yeah. That's a bad taste. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. I know it's an early one. Okay. So let's dive back in and see what else I find or pick up or leave behind. Kind of wish I picked up those brass ones, even though they, they probably wouldn't have brought a whole a lot of money. But I think now looking back, I'm like, mm, they might have they might have been something good to pick up. Uh-oh. Okay. My phone's going off. So let's see. Okay. Again, I, I talk about, um, coasters a lot because that's another one of those things that's kind of like 
napkin rings that not a lot of people, well, I don't want to say not a lot of people, but they might be overlooked, especially at thrift stores and garage sales. Like you wouldn't think to price them super high uh, unless you also happen to know. So let's go take a peek. And I know I've talked about, I talk about Pimpernel a lot because usually, oh, I'm not sharing to the, that screen. Hang on. Where am I? Here we go. Add to stream. Um, because they're, they're always, you know, a solid brand to be looking for. And they're pretty easy to spot because they have that cork bottom. They've got placemats, which are those hard ones, kind of like the coasters. And then these, you know, here's just five random ones sold for 15 bucks. But there are others. Do I have more? Oh, anyway, I, I didn't pull up more for this. So Pimpernel. And they're usually pretty uh, well marked. But when you see them, you know, once you get used to that, you know them. Another one that I didn't really ever look for are Pier 1. So these are Pier 1 beaded coasters that sold for 32 bucks. So that's another one. Like, And then these, you know, they just seem like, okay, blah, they're beaded. I mean, to me. <laughs> but they sold for $20. And I can imagine picking them up for pretty cheap at a, a garage seller or thrift store or something. Oh, that's something I bought. <laughs> All right, let's come come back over here. Hello, hello. Okay, so let me know too if you see anything else. A lot of times I'll look through the placemats and the the napkins as well because those can be, say again, from Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel, and people are looking for either replacements or yeah. This is my Goodwill. They had this whole random Halloween display with like blood and body parts and weirdness. I didn't know what was. I mean, come on now. What was happening here? <laughs> they were they were really in the Halloween spirit at this particular Goodwill. Hello, hello, everybody in the chat. All right, so a lot of times I forget to look at the, like when I first come into this particular Goodwill, it's got almost like the, the nice racks, you know, rather than being in the big long ones. And there's frequently things up on top. So I try to make sure to go through those because sometimes I'll find really cool things there, you know, that are just being used as decorations. You know what I mean? Oh, you saw a New Mexico mug that was Starbucks. I missed it. I missed it. You know how I like to sell the mugs too. All right. So let's take a peek here. I'm going to take a quick sip of water. Okay. Let's see. Nothing so far jumping out up top. <clears throat> This chicken thing might have been kind of fun to pick up. Um, and you'll know, I don't usually sell clothes. So let me know in the chat if many of you, do you sell clothes as well as hard goods? Or are you just mostly hard goods and vintage, stuff like that, jewelry? Let's see here. What do we got? It's like a teddy bear bouquet, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. All right, moving on. Let's see what else we see. How are we doing on time? We're doing okay. So, oh, I'm trying to remember on this, if I spent too long at the shoes, I'm trying to learn more about shoes and I may have to fast forward this part. I don't know if I edited it out because I was like spending a really long time looking at the shoes. Um, so if you know any shoe brands that you think are good bolos that others should be looking for, please leave a comment because I'm trying to learn shoes. I always look for docs. I look for like Vans and Converse, especially ones that are uh, different patterns and stuff. Um, what else do I look for? Anything that just looks unique or unusual that jump out at me, but I know I'm passing up money in this section because this particular Goodwill has got a really nice shoe section that I just feel like I need to know more about and I just don't. <laughs> so I go through and just see if anything pops out at me, honestly. Yeah. Mostly it's, you know, unique colors or unique patterns like those. Are, those are pretty cool. Those were, what brand? Those are Loft. Mostly I go, uh, honestly, just like, what would I like? These are Converse. This is what I'm, oh no, those are Vans. Like if I find unusual Vans or Converse like this, then I definitely uh, pick them up. So those are like velvety purple. Aren't they cool? So cool. Okay, good. I did. I was in the shoe section for a really long time. I couldn't remember if I uh, edited that down. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, you love the disco shoes. Oh yeah. Those are so fun. Those big platform. Oh, it, that was the thing too. I was just like, and I got them at that, that Goodwill. Um, I was like, those are cool. Those are different. Uh, so definitely 
Has anyone sold a bread maker? I've never sold a bread maker. Let's see. Are you you have a thing with shoes. You buy them, buy them, and never list them. <laughs> okay, so again, now looking through handbags, I have the same deal with handbags. Like, I know certain brands, and I think it's just hit or miss. Like, I have to know more. Like, this is a Brighton one, but I think some, again, with Brighton, I think it has to do with condition and style, and I don't know. Some people love Brighton, but I feel like it's expensive, but then it kind of falls apart quick. Is that just me? Like I used to get like some Brighton earrings and they were silver tone and it didn't take long before the silver tone was wearing off. I'm like, I paid too much for this to be falling apart or getting the finish rubbed off so quickly. Let's see. You sold one. Oh, it was expensive shipping a bread, a bread maker. Yeah. All right. I, I do like looking at straw purses because there, there's a brand called Eric Javits that I've, I've talked about before. This is a Vera Bradley straw purse, which I actually, I do, I pick up and I look at, they wanted seven bucks for it, but I ended up not getting it. And I think because I looked it up and it just wasn't really selling for that much. Uh, but I thought, you know what, this is a different, because it's not the typical Vera Bradley that I see. Uh, some people love selling Vera Bradley. Some people like me, I'm just like, mm, you know, I, I don't, but, but I have, you know, viewers that say, oh yeah, I, they, it sells pretty steady for it for me. So let me know if you do sell Vera Bradley, what do you find that you, um, that you like to pick up from that brand? Cause I always feel like, oh, I need to spend time really looking up the pattern and seeing if it's one that's desirable. And, and then sometimes they just need to be cleaned so badly. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah. As far as, yeah. Brighton, but yeah, people love it. They do. And then you never, yeah, you don't buy it for yourself anymore. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Oh wait. Fat Bird Fine says Golden Goose is a sneaker brand. I just learned about, they look old and beat up on purpose, but they are hundreds of dollars. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I'm gonna have to look up the label for that one. So I'll know what to look for. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I'll look it up in just a second so we can all see. How do I get back over here? Here we go. All right. So while we're doing that, so I'm looking at these trays over here. I'm going to look up Golden Goose while we're going through that so we can all see what that Golden Goose shoes. And see, I'm going to go pop up solds. See, this is the fun thing about doing this. <laughs> I like this little, um, like I like picking up luminaries and this is kind of like a luminary things that you can put, you know, candles inside of, and, and then the lights come out of it. And so it's not exactly a luminary on these kind of, um, but I kind of wish that I'd gotten them now because I think they probably would have sold pretty well. I can't remember what it said uh, they cost. I don't remember if I showed the price. All right, let's peek at golden goose since we're on that, uh, add a stream. Here we go. So here are golden goose sneakers. Oh, you're right. I mean, they, yeah. So those sold for $105. Look at these. Okay. So I'm seeing a big star that kind of like almost like a converse star, but bigger. Do they all have a star? What does the label look like? So I'm noticing this big kind of star that's getting cut off. Nice. 235 bucks on those. Holy moly. Wow. Look at these. They really do look beat up. Okay, let's, I want to see what the, the label looks like on them. Wow, okay. So be looking for that big star. Thanks for that bolo. Because, and they do, they just look like worn and torn up. Okay, what does the inside look like? They say superstar. Oh, oh, I'll look on the tongue. Looks like there's a GG on the tongue of the shoe. I need to find another one that's got the tongue showing better, but you can see the GG on the tongue. Okay, cool. Did they all have that? Let me look at one more and see if they have the, the label. Yay. I like this. Cause then I'm learning something new too. Yay. All right. This one has golden goose written along the, the edge, right? And then inside. Okay. It's got the name of the shoe and hi. Okay, cool. Yay. Thanks for that. Cause definitely something I would have not even looked at because they did look just like they looked ripped, right? Um, all right. I'm looking in the chat real quick, see if I'm missing anything. All right. And this, oh, I ended up getting this for me because I, my guest room, I needed 
towel rack over the over the door. Like, yay. So I picked that up for me. Brand new, they can be 500 bucks. Whoa, those shoes. Okay, and then in the, I like looking through the, the metal section because frequently you can find pretty cool stuff as well. Glass is another area that, you know, I'm still trying to learn. There's so much. I mean, this is the fun thing about being a reseller is that you can start in just one area and learn a little bit and just slowly expand out. Okay, we got this because my kids like Fallout and that was a Fallout thing. I didn't, I did look it up, but I didn't include it in my, my research, but anything kind of Fallout, Fallout 11, it's, it's something worth looking up because there's a fan base out there for it. And that's my kids. Okay. Hang on. There's, here we go. Let me see what you're saying. Uh, oh, you took it out. If you ever see shoes, oh, wait, we can't see, we can't see. If you ever see shoes with the platform on springs under them, there's some kind of exercise shoe. Oh yeah. Okay. I'll, we'll keep an eye out for that too. Yay. All right. Back over here. There we go. All right. Let's keep going. When you're in the metal section like this, like the wrought iron, what kind of stuff do you look for? And then baskets. We've talked about like this, what is it called? Like seagrass. No, it's not seagrass. What's it called? Oh, my brain is just spacing on me. There's a certain kind of basket that makes, that you can sell for pretty good money too. And now I can't think of what it's called. That's not, is it seagrass? It's not seagrass. I know it when I see it, but I can't think of what it's called. Help me in the chat. You know what I'm talking about. I know, you know, I'm looking in the chat. See, so nothing over here really grabs me. I got a picnic basket from this Goodwill in this section before a really nice one, like vintage looking, not like a, a cheapy one. And up here, no, no, sweet grass. There we go. That's what it is. Sweet grass. Thank you. I knew y'all would help me. My brain's, you know, you can't keep all the words in there, can you? I can't anyway. So going through here, I'm always looking for, again, different stuff. And, and this, this is about as different as it gets. So this is like this ghost votive holder so you flip it around and it, it holds like a candle in the back look at it look at it like that but it's so different and weird I was like oh my gosh this is one I have to get so let's take a peek I mean this is one that's up I think this was the only one that I found that was up and it's really not selling or the person is selling it for not that much it hasn't really sold but um yeah I'm just like this is so unusual I just had to I had to pick it up I, yeah, anything unusual and weird because some people love weird everything, Halloween stuff, Christmas stuff, anything really. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. So, and then this is, this is a vintage, like one of the, what's the word? Projection light. There we go. Thank you box for helping me. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hit that thumbs up friends. Uh, so this little cat was supposed to make sounds, but it didn't. And so passed on that one. What else did I see here? I feel like this, either this trip or no, no, it is this trip where I find the Mickey Mouse um, hat. And at first you see it up there. It's like the sorcerer hat from Fantasia. And this one has, you know, the light, the battery pack and everything. I, it didn't work in the moment. And Honestly, when I went to look it up, it really wasn't selling for that much. Um, did I bring that one up? Nope, I didn't pop it up. But there were some, and I wish I had brought it up, that were selling for, for okay, an okay profit. But this one was not, which surprised me because I thought, oh, because this one lights up, that it would be. But it really wasn't. It really wasn't. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, but I do hang on to it and go look it up for a bit. Well... Apparently, I'm not going to show you that part in the video either. <laughs> All right, moving along. I do love the knickknack section, like just the little tchotchkes and collectibles and whatnot. It's probably some of my favorite stuff to sell. Just randoms. Randoms. Those are cool. And how am I doing on time here? We're doing okay. I know I'm going to see something else. Y'all let me know if you see something that I'm missing because it always happens. Always, always, always. 
and I've said this before, but if you don't record, like try it sometime and then go back and watch and, and see like, Oh, did I miss anything too? Cause I get, I get, uh, I kick myself right for missing things, but it happens. I feel like I just showed this footage. Did I put it in there again? That's weird. Mm, what have we up here? Yeah, I'm always looking for just cool little vintage things, trinket boxes, animals, figural items. What else? What else do you look for when you're in this section? Like with just random collectible stuff. Let's see what this is. Uh, I wanted two bucks for that. I'm like, eh, no, pass. High School Musical, anyone? I think that was from High School Musical 3 for the super fans. Let's see. How's the stream? The stream's actually looking okay, so crossing fingers, it stays, stays good. Okay, so this is one of these ornaments that's painted from the inside. And so I know there are people that really, really like this style of ornament. So let's take a peek. I did pull those up. Uh, at ornaments that are painted inside. And it's again, one of those, hang on, let me switch it to gallery view so we can see more in, in the time. Um, it's again, one of those that's uh, quality, like how, how does the painting, how, what does it look like? You know, does it look nice? And then subject matter. I'm going to turn off, because as you can see, like here's on auction, I'm going to turn off auctions or bids or whatever. So we can just look at buy it now because I feel like that's a better representation somewhat. So again, like this one sold for 20, this one, which is the nativity sold for 52. So that might be something, you know, nativity stuff, uh, Santa sold for 20, but again, there were some that, that sold for under 20 bucks. I'm kind of, I'd be looking for something that sold a little bit more. So snowman nativity, like that, but that snowman sold for 10. Hmm. If you know, oh, see, maybe I should have put in reverse painted because I put painted inside. So that might have also affected my search. But again, this is another way, like me figuring out like, oh, it's called reverse painted instead of painted inside. You know, when you do searches like this, start harvesting those, those words to pop into your search to, to make it a little more a little better anyway. All right. So let's see. I thought, well, let's go ahead and see what other Christmas ornaments, just straight up Christmas ornaments have been selling. And uh, again, I'm going to turn off auction. Sorry. It's scrolling fast. I know some people don't, it bothers you. So I'm um, buying it now. Woo. And if in Christmas ornaments, Christmas stuff sells all year long, you guys all year. Look at this unbreakable. Oh, these are Bradford exchange. I wouldn't have thought that those would sell. Uh, I'm not seeing, I mean, there's some that are like, okay, I don't really do lots. Okay. Alligators. Cool. I think also like just figural stuff, same deal. Like people have their favorite animal. They want their Buffalo or their alligator Christmas ornament. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we'll call it there. Let's Let's see. <laughs> Let's see if it didn't kick me out. Am I back? I accidentally closed my window. <laughs> I'm here. Give me Sorry, y'all. I accidentally closed my window. And of course, it closed out everything I had loaded up as well. YouTube for the win. No, that was user error. Kara, thank you so much for that super sticker. I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for that $5 super sticker. Okay. Right. Nate, uh oh. Uh, name brand versus not same on this search. They sell for more. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, I accidentally closed it out. And so I'm going to have to call it there, but I want to thank you guys for being here. It looks like the stream is doing a little bit better. Hopefully this, uh, internet issue has been resolved. I tried earlier and it was a bit grainy, so we'll just keep plowing through and seeing uh, how we do. But again, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you were able to pick up one or two tips from this video and uh, yeah, leave one in the comment for us and I will talk to you on the next one. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Bye.